Hello investors, this is a presentation of video on Indus in Bank. This video is brought to you by Smart Investors. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. Indus in Bank at a glance, it is the fifth largest private bank with a disproportionately large distribution network. It has 2,228,580 crores loans and 2,84,484 crore deposits, 31 million customers, 5,706 branches and outlets. Universal banking approach, it has got 54 to 46 loan mix, retail versus wholesale, 42% CASA, stable low cost deposits, innovative digital approach, overall digital transaction mix at 92%. Strong domain expertise, long retail across cycles, vehicle finance is 27% of the loan book, Microfinance is 12% of the loan book. Gems and jewelries is 4% of the loan book. Robust balance sheet. Bank has 18.06 CRAR, 137% average LCR, and 72% PCR. Strong profitability, 4.10 net interest margin, 41.9% cost to income, 5.90 operating profit margin to loans. The bank has been creating web future ready tech stacks and platforms building cloud native microservices based API led stacks. The company has built chatbots, web, mobile, call center, relationship management, branch, and partnerships, creating client facing applications much more easy and smooth. API management includes microservices based modular architecture, providing agility and flexibility to integrate with partners. API Gateway, Sandbox Environment, Developer Portals are part of this architecture. Advanced Analytics and Machine Learning include KYC, Fraud Analytics, Real-Time Underwriting, Pricing, Valid Share, Hyper-Personalized Engagement. Data Management for Advanced Analytics include Structured as well as Unstructured Data, Cloud-Based Data Warehouse, Strong Data Governance Model. The Core System following following the core and moving to new age cloud native core stacks. Infrastructure is cloud native, containerized for new generation applications. New age workforce include digital product, digital marketing, partnerships and alliances, advanced analytics. The company has omni-channel, self-assisted mobile, web and tab. Microservices API driven, modular and scalable high on security, reliability, and building an agile culture. Collaborating the ecosystem players to generate business and to create enriched customer value propositions, live with 260 partners and several more underway. Interesting API stack, 400 plus APIs on API gateway, customer onboarding including KYC, EKYC, VKYC, FD booking, business rules engine, underwriting decisions and as a service, Payment and collections, decision as a service, and document management process. In the aggregators, it has got tied up with personal loans and credit cards, payment banks, wealth fintechs, fixed deposits, 3 in 1 accounts, B2B commerce platforms include current account, business loans, invoice discounting, neo banks, full stack across product partnerships, accounting taxation solutions for current accounts and business loans, co lending with fintechs and non banking finance companies providing unsecured business loans, invoice discounting, purchase finance. The payment solutions provided include point of sales, QR, payment gateways, instant settlement, convert spends to EMI. The bank has launched two products under Indus Easy Credit for Business, a GST-based overdraft facility, building the digital SME stack by leveraging microservices-based APIs. Indus Easy Credit for Business includes GST-based overdraft in principle sanctioning cash center, cash credit and non-fund based limits, focus products less than 2 crore segment. GST based overall facility is a new uh, thing which is offered to the companies, fully digital and paperless, overall facility of 2 crores, launched a pan bank in December 21 with good response from sales and credit teams, through the door acquisition, metrics, validates, state of the art scorecards, in principle sanction in 5 minutes, all digital channels activated. New scorecards being developed or deployed for cash credit, thus moving towards a 
uniform assessment across all platforms. The company has presence in web, mobile, relationship management, branches, and partnerships. Launch two products under Intel's Easy Credit for Business Smart Ticket Business Term Loans includes small unsecured business loans, digital loans up to 20 lakhs in less than 15 minutes, 100% digital orientation for self-employed and sole proprietorships, great uptake in the newly launched DIY app for merchants, completely paperless and powered by Indian Stack to deliver seamless loan disbursement, real-time underwriting, leveraging GST, banking, bureau, instant decision, and same-day sanction, using state-of-the-art algorithms for creating code cards, all digital channels activated, mobile, web, and call center, assisted channels to be made live in Q4 FI22. Launched Indus Merchant Solutions, gaining traction with both existing clients as well as to new bank clients in the segment. This is the campaign the company is running. We started base of 8,750 plus users within a few days of launch. 60% of users new to bank indicating strong pull for the proposition, 22% new to merchant proposition. The bank has Indus Easy Credit for individuals enabling digitalization of cards and PL with gains in efficiency. Now live across do it yourself 2 lakh inquiries per month, 138 plus offline partners live, 2 digital partners live, 5 digital partners under integration. 275 plus bank sales team, 660 plus partner sales team, 50 plus branches, and 500 plus employees in branches. All are working towards Indus Easy Credit for individuals. This is a fully digital end to end paperless, presence less, cashless journey for new bank clients seeking personal loans or credit cards. Digital text for KYC, AML, employment verification, real time bank statement analysis real-time underwriting leveraging machine leaning based algorithms video kyc enabled e-agreement e-sign e-stamping and em cash setup leverage 35 plus internal and external interfaces to power the journey the company has launched whatsapp banking comprehensive stack of 40 plus services on whatsapp with 3.6 million clients whatsapp banking offer 40 plus services for clients across segments during the quarter ended, the added services such as account statement download, credit card services on WhatsApp for customers, including payment of credit cards via WhatsApp. The registered base has moved from uh, 2 to 3.6 million, a growth of 82% year on year. The transactions up three times year on year, from 100 to 292. Monthly active users have gone up by 116% year on year from 100 to 260. Indus Mobile, all-in-one mobile application with complete customer lifecycle management. This has got 23% growth year-on-year year from 100 to 123 in Q3 of 522. Company Bank has built a comprehensive stack of platforms across individuals and MSM segment. In the individual segment, it has got savings account, fixed deposit, investments, retail forex, personal loans, and credit card, Indus Mobile, WhatsApp banking, spends on EMI. In the MSME segment, it has got current account, assisted digital life, do it yourself, going live shortly, small ticket unsecured business loan called Indus Easy Credit, secured order of up to 2 crores called Indus Easy Credit. Indus Marketing Solutions is all in one stack for retailers for all their needs across banking, payments, and lending. The new launches in FI22 include personal loans and credit cards. Digital strategy to drive three main objectives across business lines, build enriched digital value proposition, build new digital business models, transform existing lines of business. This is a shareholding pattern of the bank Promoters hold 15.17%, mutual funds hold 43.75%, FIIs have 8.20%, individual private directors 3.42.7%, and GDR issue is 18.56%. Microfinance bridging the financial gap. It is India's second largest microfinance lender, 
9 million women customers, 1.29 lakh villages covered under 21 states, tech data driven risk management, 94,000 plus Bharat money stores, 261,000 plus merchants onboarded. The microfinance lookbook is worth 27,443 crores. Average ticket size is 28,102 in third quarter F522. Key strengths of the bank diversified loan book with domain expertise in livelihood loans, healthy capital adequacy, robust liability franchise, disproportionately large distribution network, strong product groups, executing digital to strategy, profitability among the highest in industry, ESG, stable and experience both. As you have seen, mutual funds have increased the stake to 12% in the last four quarters. FIS continue to hold close to 49% in this bank. The returns of the bank over the last one year, the last one year it has lost 9.3%, the last one month it has gone up by 11.3%. Last three months it was down by 3% and last six months it has been fairly trading flat. Company is a leading private bank and promoters hold 16%, FI 47%, mutual funds 12%. This is for a long term investors. The bank has a year high of 1,242 and a year low of 811. Currently trading above 950. If the price comes to 900 level, investors should buy this bank and hold for a target price of 1200 in one year time frame. Investors can look at doing a SIP systematic investment plan by small quantities over a long period of time to leverage the price movements across the investment spectrum. Thanks for watching this video.